Hi, I'm Dr. Noam Spinowitz, and I'm going to present a case of right arm swelling with central venous occlusion. What I found interesting about this case was not only the presentation and solution, but the approach and method to the intervention. This is a 78-year-old male with hypertension, diabetes, anemia, and hyperparathyroidism, hyperlipidemia, left-sided pacemaker, and end-stage renal disease, currently receiving dialysis through a right internal jugular vein permanent catheter since November of 2021. The important parts are the left-sided pacemaker and the right-sided internal jugular vein catheter. He has a right brachial cephalic fistula, which was recently, recently created on January 19th. He, he is taking metoprolol, furosemide, genuvia, atorvastatin, calcium carbonate, cevelimer, ergocalciferol, and Flomax. The patient presents for maturation of the right upper arm brachial cephalic fistula. Since creation of the right arm fistula a month ago, the patient present reports right arm swelling beginning from the wrist extending to the axillary region. He also complains of pain in the upper arm. On physical exam, there is swelling appreciated with tension and pitting edema in the right forearm and upper arm. There is tenderness over the mid body of the fistula within the upper arm over the bicep. There is poor thrill progression of the fistula through this area with multiple collateral vessels appreciated. My plan was to have a complete evaluation with fistulogram considering the presenting symptoms with concern for central venous occlusion. Again, considering his recent history of right internal jugular vein permanent catheter, as well as the previous history of left-sided pacemaker. Possible catheter change with central angioplasty. The first fistulogram shows a central occlusion from a chronic right IJ catheter and left side pacemaker wires with multiple large collateral vessels draining across the neck and thyroid plexus of veins. Attempts to traverse the central occlusion, for, occlusion from the fistula approach were not successful. As you can see on the left side of the screen, the wire is unable to pass the occlusion. The right eye internal jugular vein catheter was then removed with plans for central venous angioplasty from the catheter approach in order to recanalize the subclavian brachiocephalic vein junction from the fistula approach. Once the central occlusion was obliterated from the catheter approach, the wire was then passed along with the balloon centrally from the fistula approach, and the central venous intervention with angioplasty and stent placement was performed from the fistula approach after a new catheter was exchanged. Antegraded flow was seen from the right arm fistula with disappearance of the previously seen retrograde collateral veins, indicating resolution of the stenosis and occlusion. Right arm pressure was decreased and the swelling and painful symptoms began to resolve immediately.